we had a semi rollover. Yeah. Uh, it went through the barrier wall, jackknifed yeah. and tipped yeah. over. A driver was trapped uh, for like three hours. Uh, many departments helped us uh, with the extrication, and um, he was flown by Air Angels to Loyola Hospital. Now, what condition? He was conscious and talking to us. Now, no obvious, you know, bleeding or anything like that. He spoke with us uh, for a long time. We couldn't even see him. We could just hear him. And we had to do some moving of the trailers with uh, the big uh, tow recovery rigs. We actually gave him a portable radio to talk to us, you know, in case something was uh, happening. We tried every which way uh, to try to get him at first before we had to move. But anyway, it was a long extrication. And how many firefighters did you have out there at the scene? I would guess that we had probably uh, 40, 50, 60 firefighters. I kind of lost track. We needed a lot of heavier squads with their extrication equipment. Uh, kind of more than, this is the biggest one that, you know, as far as equipment that I've ever done. Can you tell me what you guys had to deal with? I know the truck rolled over, but was it in the mud? What, you know, well, what, we were working on, a, on a, a, a slope embankment, uh, a lot of mud, a lot of diesel fuel, and it was raining hard, so the conditions were, were less than favorable.